how to make restaurant website in Google Sites. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how easy it is to create a website for your restaurants if you have one. It's very easy and very simple. All you need to do is to follow up the tutorial from the beginning till the end and you will be good to go. The first thing that you need to do is to head over sites.google.com. Then you need to create an account on Google if you don't have, but in case that you, ha that you have, and this is the largest supposition right there to have a Google account. You're going to uh, create a, a blank site. This is the first option. Then you are going to uh, proceed after uh, designing the website, or you can go ahead and click on the template gallery right there and search for the most convenient one for the restaurants. As you can see here, we have already a restaurants uh, website template uh, ready. So we are going to click on it to make the tasks a lot of uh, ease. So right there, we have the template. We have the restaurant, restaurant name, etc. So you can go ahead and add a logo right here in the place of the uh, text. For example, I'm going to type a text like Jack's, for example, Jack's uh, restaurant. Jack's rest or jack's grill grill grills it doesn't matter here for the name of the restaurant right there you can go ahead and put it also jack's grills maybe like that so i'm going to let it like this here write a short tagline here you need to set a not a tagline but a little uh, let's say slogan for your restaurant so i am going to set it uh, if it is not grilled it is not uh let's say jack for example so here this is just a uh, demonstration we have here the reservation button so if you want to let it right there let it if you don't want to see it go ahead and remove it so right here we have the banner or the first picture to um to see after you have entered the website as you can see this is a culinary um picture you can go ahead and um, remove it or you can go ahead and set a caption for this so for example welcome to a kitchen or a restaurant front of the world best chefs for example so here we have it now we have uh, here some uh, random as you can see here or or uh, well put it uh, sections for text you can add some blocks right there you can add a text box this is a text box i will let you see here how we can add it so we are going to uh, remove that so here we have it this is i'm going to remove this also these are uh, some uh, frames or some sections that can be um, linked to each other if you want to set up or uh, put a collapsible group right there go ahead and click it this is a collapsible group uh, right here on the right side we have the insert the pages and the theme for the themes, it will let you right there choose the color of the themes. For example, right here, as you can see, everything has changed for the colors. Here we have simple, uh, Aristotle. So the colors here will change as much as you please. We have level, impression, and etc. So right there, I'm going to add, a, click on insert. Then we are going to add, for example, a spacer. So go ahead and click on the spacer and it will let you right there put a spacer between these two sections. So if you want to add a text box, go ahead and click on text box and it will be added to the spacer. So right there, you can go ahead and put it like that or put it wherever you want. I'm going to delete that. You can add, for example, an image from the image block right there. I'm going to set here uh, uh let's say food then we are going to search your food don't we don't have food here in drive or us okay 
here we are on Google Images. You can go ahead and uh, put some Google uh, images or photos. It is up to you, or you can uh, put a link or a Google Drive link. So here we have it. You can add a, for example, a content block, a double, a triple, a, a demonstration, or a quadruple. For example, this uh, is fully droppable right there. You can add, for example, some dishes right there. You can add and click on upload, or you can go ahead and select an image. So let's go ahead and select any image right there. Click on insert the first image, the second dish, for example, image and etc. You can add the text right there and name the plates, for example, or dishes. Let's say that we are going to set this uh, Japanese. J this is just an example, Japanese uh, food, for example. It is not uh, a food, but it is just an example and etc now let's go ahead and let you see what do we have and we can add to this specific website so we have collapsible group table of content here you are going to click on it and see here the uh, table of content you can go ahead and put a um, content with there for example a list of food or a list of uh, different uh, component of uh, different food uh, ingredients etc for example, you can add a image carousel button, divider, spacer, social links. Here we have, you need to add it at the end of these social links and etc. You can add a Google Docs, a slides, a sheet, a form and chart, but this is not a very, very suitable for a website or for a restaurant. You can add a calendar right there. You can add a calendar for you right there. I'm going to insert a calendar. And this calendar is going to be the booking page of us. So let's say that we are going to add or let our clients to add the uh, or book the events right there. You can either use uh, Google uh, right here calendar or you can go ahead and insert an embed code from Calendly. So speaking of embeds. I have a good idea about how we can design this specific website uh, of the restaurant. For example, if you want to put right here uh, a widget for the menu and also the dishes that you are going to present, you need the help of ElfSite. ElfSite is a widget creator that doesn't require a coding, but it will help you create your idea into a widget then you are going to get a code then all you need to do is to embed or insert and also paste that code into the specific area so we have the elf site you need to create an account on elf site to be able to create these type of widgets so we are going to see the widgets that we have for example we have let's say here a uh, review we are going to search for maybe uh, on the tools. We need to search for a restaurant menu. So I'm going to drop down a little bit. Then where is it? Here we have it. Here we have restaurant menu. Or you can go ahead right there and see the website itself. Then you are going to type or search for the different uh, as you can see here, I'm going to click on me on my account. Then we are going to see all the apps. So right there, I'm going to um, see the catalogs. Then we are going to see for the widgets like restaurants. So here we have uh, Google reviews, which will help you to increase the uh, uh, the uh, fame of your restaurant. Here we have open tables reviews. And here we have the restaurant menu. So I will go ahead and choose the restaurant menu first. Then we are going to choose our template. As you can see here, we have a lot of interactive templates. This is a special for pizza. We have here burger, snacks and slides, and etc. The family restaurant right there has some uh, more professional culinary culture. For example, here we have uh, Stracchino, Gnocchi, and etc. You can go ahead and modify all of these. We have also coffee house, healthy restaurant, and cocktail bar. 
So let's say that we are going to add a pizza and burger restaurant. So this is a fast food restaurant. Let's say that we have here the right dimensions and everything. So I will go ahead and click on continue this template. Then as you can see here, we have the menu, which is pizza, burger, slides, salads, and drinks here with the icons. You can go ahead and click on the icon to change the name of it and select the items that are contained into the specific one. For example, for the pizzas, we have the pizza photo, we have the name, we have the ingredients, and we have a price. For example, if I click on the pizza, here we have everything set. So you can add a badge. Uh, and here we have uh, the library. So we are going to see here the uh, library of the pizza. Here we are going to set it new. For example, here we have added a batch. So we are going to click on done. Then we are going to see here the uh, caption or the description or the ingredients. So we have here this done. We're going to click on done again. Here we have a lot of menus. You can add an item for the menu and choose the icon of it. For example, from the library uh, right there, we are going to add, for example, I'm going to set chicken maybe. Uh, here we are going to set grilled chicken. And we are going to set it like that. You can add uh, chicken or uh, let's say marinated. Nated, marinated chicken with let's say i don't know uh a lot of things so you can go ahead and add the item which is uh, the photo you can add a batch to it and boom so we are going to see it right there live here we have the grilled chicken and etc you can add the items right there the menus you can add whatever you want from them so all you need to do is to uh, head over the layout to see here what do we have for example here we have tabs we have your list and etc you can go ahead and select the items how that how can be uh, shown right there so you are going to see right there here we have the item layout we have also this cards you can choose whatever element uh, is going to be displayed then we have the style which is uh, the accent color right there which is here the pizzas for example i'm going to change it to the green we have an orange again and boom. So here we have the fonts, the type of fonts. We have the menu, customized element. You can customize the menu, customize the item and etc. So when you finish everything right there, you are going to click on publish. Here we have the restaurant menu. We have a, um, let's say subscription plans. Now for the subscription plans, in my case, I will only use one. So we are going to click on the select so right here for the select or the one that i have chosen it is a free so all i need to do right there is to get the embed code click on copy then we are going back to the google sites right here we are going to add the specific area which is embed click on embed here we have two types by url or a embed code of course we need the embed code now we are going to paste the code, click on next. It will let you see here a preview, but it doesn't matter. Click on insert. Boom, here we have the menu, as you can see. So make it bigger as much as you want or as it is because we need it all the totality of the menu. So right here we are going to make it like that and boom, here we have the menu. So you can go ahead and drag and drop the menu by clicking on the 10 vertical dots right there. Click on them, then you can go ahead and drag and drop it wherever you want. For example, right there, so we have the menu, boom. So this menu is fully clickable and also fully uh, interactive. All you need to do right here is to click on publish on the website if you have finished. So then we are going to click on publish. Boom. Now we are going to view our website. Click on view. Here we have the website. 
and we have the menu. So the interactive menu is here. As you can see, the photo is going to be um, right there, the hamburger one, and etc. How cool is that? So now let's talk about the pages. How we can add a page or customize the pages on the header. Right here we have the header. We have the pages right there. So we can go ahead and see right there that the home is here. The contact us is here. I'm going to make it right there to the bottom, which is the last item on the menu. We have the menu, the chefs, and etc. If you want to access uh, the chefs right here section or menu, you are going to click on it, and here we have it. So if you want to add a page, click on the plus. You have the choice to add a new page, new link, full embed or page embed, or a new menu section, which is a sub menu. So if you want to add a new page, you're going to set it right there, name it, for example, chat room, click on done, and boom, here we have it. That was all for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope that you have enjoyed the content. I hope to see you soon on the next one.